Paul, welcome. Thanks for joining. Hey, thanks for having me, Chris. Um, you know, the, the problem that you describe is not something that's new. A lot of companies out there are dealing with that issue right now. They have multiple systems across multiple facilities. And and the problem is is really is just finding information or locating information. And then on top of that, making sure that that information is correct information. Because, you know, of course, if you have the, the latest and greatest information that's out there, it helps you make better decisions. And what asset information management does is it's an agnostic tool that really doesn't matter where that information is coming from because we do the tag to document relationship with this. So we have the asset tag and then we take that asset tag number and we actually search through all the documents that are in the system and we find all the documents, all the drawings, uh, any other part or piece that has that tag number on it and we bring it into a single unified view. Um, and, and to me, that is like so powerful that it really doesn't matter where that information is coming from or what siloed data source it's coming from. We can reach in there, grab that data, bring it out, and we can visualize it the way that you want to see it. Um, and, and what's so great about uh, some of this is it's out of the box. It, you know, there's not a... Um, you know, a, a, a design or a rehash of how to do things. It's just a configurable tool that you go in there and say, hey, I want to see my information this way. And I love this screenshot right here showing that single unified view of all associated information. And you can see multiple siloed applications here that normally don't communicate or share information with or if you do share information, it's very labor intensive to get that information shared across these platforms. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna show you what asset information management looks like. And this is the splash page right here. You see the collect, locate, discover view and the report. And I really like the report functionality because when you can see across multiple applications, you can report on all the attributes that you wanna see. But I'm going to kind of drill down for this little quick show and tell of what we got going on here to, to a specific pump. And on this pump right here, you see that I'm asking the system for a, a list of specific information right here, attributes, reports, you know, you know, links to other softwares. Uh, I have a nice little 3D model of what it looks like over here. There's my PNID, but <clears throat> excuse me, but I can actually go down here and look at these attributes and I've gotten granular here. I've actually went to specific applications and told it like, hey, for my 3D model, I want this information right here. Or for my 2D documentation, I want this information. And then I can also go like into SAP or Maximo or something like that and request certain information from there as well. So I'm not having to go into these individual siloed applications. I'm just requesting data from it and bringing it in. And then I love this screen right here, this related document screen. It tells me all the documentation that that tag number right there actually resides on. So I'm sitting here looking at, I got five 3D models and these could be like AutoCAD products or Aviva products or, or Intergraph or you know any of these that have, I can visually see them there. But you can see there's a host of information here. There's there's forms and drawings and breakdown logs and you know standard operating procedures right here. You know, any report that was run that has that on there, you know, change orders that would be associated with it, the actual pump curve, you know, that's great. Photographs, purchase orders, predictive analytics, you know, I can sit here and go on and on, but, you know, you can kind of start seeing the, the scope and the breadth of what we can do here. Plus, if we have live data coming from this asset, say, you know, from Wonderware or say from Pi or something like that, I can see the discharge pressure or flow rate. So I can see live data along with all of this other information. So if I did notice that, hey, I got a problem, I can see what the problem is, what maybe causes the problem. I can look in there and say, hey, how do I fix it? Or better yet, how do I isolate that asset from the rest of the, the facility without shutting down everything, you know? Uh, and then of course we go down to here and we can even go as far as into the predictive analytics. We can pull that information out and show you, you know, what is the health 
of that asset right there right now. Um, and a good example of like how this works right here is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to look at this purchase order. And you'll see that on this purchase order, we have tags that the system recognized. So from this PDF purchase order right here, AIM has physically went in there and said, hey, I recognize these tags are associated with other information in my system. So if I selected one of those tags right there, I can actually pull information from this PDF right here. This works the same with a, a PNID or a PFD or anything like that. The system automatically goes in there and recognizes this information and, and we can make that connection across all those siloed applications out there. So this is kind of a, a rough way of, of how we look at it and how we deal with it. But if you do have customers out there that are really interested in connecting all of that information together, have them contact me. I would love to walk through this and show them how it works and, and show them how we can take their data and connect it and give them that single unified view of everything. Yeah, I know. I think that's perfect. And the two big things that I heard you say there, Paul, are one, I think customers are worried about having to put all of their data into one repository, and that's not the case here. It doesn't seem no. to be. And that the communication flow is two ways, right? It doesn't matter which piece of information you're looking at. You, It's connected back to all the other pieces of documentation, and so it always comes around for full circle. 